Hello everyone, in this video we will be learning about iterators. Iterators are lot similar to pointers and in STL we use it to iterate throughout a data structure as the name says. Now we have one important thing to note about iterators that like pointers they carry the address information and not the value. And one more thing we must understand is an iterator is closely related to type it helps iterate for example vector iterators can be incremented or decremented by any integer value because vectors have random access property vectors have indices which is not the case with set you cannot increment or decrement set iterator by any value you can just increment by one or decrement by one because set don't have indexes. So in this tutorial, we'll be seeing more algorithms which will help you understand iterators more clearly. So uh, let me start. I'm creating a integer vector which will store random integers. So this will store random integers from 1 to 100, 0 to 100 and now I am creating a vector iterator. So this is how we create an iterator. And we give here v dot begin. So this iterator will start with the first address of v. Let's put it in a for loop so that we can print the values out. So this is a vector iterator and I can increment the values by 5, 4 or anything. I will not do it but that is possible. And now we will create a set iterator. Let's create a set first and put the vector values into a set. just to format the input sorry output yeah so now we have a function called copy what this does is it takes v dot begin the first address and the address from where you want to copy not actually the first address the starting address from where you want to copy and the address where you want to copy so what this will do is copy all the elements of this vector into set we can have similar approaches for list and maps as well and any other data structure for that matter so now let's create a vector iterator sorry set iterator and this will print out the values of set uh, before I print it out before I execute it I would like to talk about this inserter now what this does is it returns an insert iterator now what is an insert iterator uh, it is uh, something which allows you to modify 
or insert values into uh, much like the name suggests so you'll be getting a address value here which will be uh, an insert iterator and the values from v begin to v end will be stored in set we'll see it shortly uh, so let me execute it So here we have these random numbers. Now, after inserting into set, they all already got sorted. And this is iterator, iterating throughout the vector and throughout the set. So we have some more algorithms like find, which returns iterator. And we have sort as well, which takes the first one and the second one the start address and the end address this sorts it and here we can find any element save this and say I want to find I remember 41 being there so I want to find 41 and it will return me the vector iterator so this one I'm declaring it again here because this was out of scope and that had ended so I can again print it this will have it directly just to show you the value a string the first one will be this and the rest will be the sorted ones mm, that's it let's execute and check okay we have an error here uh, and I was not supposed to use these Yeah. as you can see this was our old array this was our set it found 41 and after sorting it gave the sorted value so this this is something which we can do with STL this is very small and STL is a very broad topic which might never end so I suggest you read various algorithms on STL and other functions what you can do there are many functions, 10 to 12 functions for doing the same thing for various specializations. So have a look at it and uh, ask me if you have any queries in the comments below. Thank you.